hello hello everyone how are you hope all is well with you and your family hope you and your families are doing okay if april is your birthday and today is your birthday happy birthday if your birthday is already gone happy belated birthday and if your birthday has not yet come happy birthday when it comes i want to say a special shout out to a very important and a very valuable friend to Jamaica. Her birthday is today, AC. You have done so much to make Jamaica proud and I am proud of you, my friend. Happy, happy birthday. You know yourself. God bless you always and may your cup forever overflow. And thanks for being there for the young ones promoting young minds in Jamaica, donating your time and giving back so much to the society. Many of you who are doing so much is not known and you don't really need to broadcast it, but you are appreciated. So guys, have you realized that Everett Warmington don't bother resign or is it don't bother get fired? Yes, it is reported that controversial member of parliament for southwestern st catherine everett warmington has withdrawn his resignation as chairman of the jamaica labor party and area council too mr warmington had resigned earlier this month after he was sacked as minister without portfolio in the ministry of economic growth and job creation this is such an important post to be messed about with his comment where he threatened to withhold funds from an opposition pmp councillor who had legitimately won his seat and even though what he said was disgusting and irresponsible he is still saying i was fired the prime minister said to me that because of civil society he can't keep me but all the same time he asked me to go in the field to work for the party for his next election he said then went on to further state that the question he wants to ask the prime minister basically is if civil society can't accept me as part of his cabinet how civil society is going to accept me working in the field to elect him again as prime minister even though while questioning the reporter suggested that the Prime Minister hands may have been tied why he had to fire you due to the mounting pressure. Mr. Warmington responded, I saw no chains or ropes on his hands. Then went on to say, Mr. Olness was forced to take action by civil society and some of the others in the Labour Party. When asked why he made such a controversial statement about putting state funds into his own JMP councillor instead of the PNP councillor who had won the seat because it's not his own party who had won his response was the usual nasty Warmington because it's my moat I don't ask for permission to speak and I don't pay license on my moat darling no fast forward present day now we're hearing that Everett Warmington not going to bother resign because in a flip Mr. Warmington has written to the party executives withdrawing his resignation saying he is fully committed to working for the re-election of the JLP government and Andrew Olness as Prime Minister. This is no surprise especially to me as these people can't be taken seriously. Is like government is running like it's their personal party shop and it's like they don't have to answer to the people of Jamaica when I see how the governing party the JLP walk out of Parliament led by Prime Minister Andrew Olness without any regards for the people he represent while the opposition leader Mark Golden was speaking on their corruption the way I see Everett Warmington took it up and cussing out Golden in Parliament like any big girl. Even when other members telling him to come, 
he keep returning to cuss in parliament having no regards for where he is in parliament and knowing that he's been broadcast live it's not a surprise he not bother resigning anymore or maybe both is not being fired anymore i remember a friend of mine said finally they fired that rude man he has been doing the most for years i said to her it's only it's only semantics because election is in the air but if jlp should ever win again bops he back in top form with the party if you're here you're here but if you didn't you're now going to hear when andrew olness called Everett warmington to a meeting to fire him you know it's alleged it never went down so smoothly you know he cussed and gone bad with himself and even was threatening allegedly the prime minister i reminded them about the secrets he hold for the party so i always wonder how them get him to do that resignation letter or they put it together themselves and he further went on to say that if him talk no one would vote for the jlp again so we don't know jlp can't push away warmington based on these allegations now this is a problem with the kind of politics in jamaica no matter how ministers underperform and are involved in questionable circumstances it's like they can't be fired because they all seemingly have secrets for each other and the dumbs down don't come run into the comment section telling me the pmp does it too bear in mind we know this right we know that it's pmp does it but right now my topic is on warmington because he has always been extremely rude and very controversial i am surprised he's been allowed to don't bother resign or get fired because remember after the latest controversy when it was said he resigned he himself shot back and said he never resigned is a prime minister manipulated by civic society and some members in the party that made him fire him so really and truly andrew olness don't bother fire warmington from i was born the lack of respect and the way they use wordplay on the jamaican people like you lot still don't realize that many jamaicans are more educated these days and even the layman in the street is much smarter he might not be book smart but trust me he can beat the man with the books with smartness out in these streets because they are aware of everything that is going on and they know what's going on on the ground under the ground and on top of the ground much more than you will not think and this is what makes a lot of people angry is when you're really saying one thing and doing the next and thinking the people of the country don't know the difference should i then say if the leader of the opposition mark golden did not reprimand his own pmp councillor for his asinine statement promoting criminality and encouraging scammers prime minister and leader of the jlp andrew olness would not have seemingly reprimanded everal warmington i wonder because look at the situation now everything just look chaka chaka i wonder if these ministers now have no conscience what a disgrace corruption at its highest sometimes i wonder what they think the outside world is thinking looking in at us and the corruption that is going on and you know what is even more disgraceful is the waganess that will try to justify this and can never see no wrong because once is their team they will justify it even if nailing jesus to the cross they would justify it i can never understand it yet a lot of these people are supposed to be highly educated but you know what as my grandfather say highly educated don'ts
as he always reminds me, there's a difference between education and intelligence. Because if you have education and don't have intelligence, you already lost. It's all messed up. But yet these same lot would like to talk to the younger generation and expect them to listen to them. That's why anarchy is let loose in Jamaica. The youths not listening to you a lot as they don't believe or trust you at all. Now what is going to happen to our little country Jamaica? It is fast speeding down the precipice of hell. Now where do we go from here? Anyway guys, please remember to like comment and subscribe to my platform please love you all bye for now